Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here. There's Teresa and the puppies. Um, I was sitting here working on my shawl. You guys remember? <laughs> I've been working on it for a long time. This is another one of the panels. Um, and I kept, and I've spent today kind of trying to shift my energies, do a little bit of focusing on myself. And answering some emails, or I haven't answered emails yet, but went through Phoenix paying bills and just kind of what I call centering myself, which you guys are like, geez, how often does this woman have to center herself? Well, quite often. But at least I'm just, you know, there in the present, right? Um, I'm feeling better today, eating a few carbs and stuff. I'm not near as sleepy, and I'm not um, uh, near as scattered, which is good. I think I just my I think my blood sugar at times was just dipping way too low, and uh, that's not a good thing. So, um, you know, I'm going to basically go on the basic American diabetic eating plan. And just, you know, be careful about it. And, uh, you know, keep keep uh, moving and, and, you know, all of that. So, anyway, um, I forgot that I was thinking about my dear friend Leanne Light. And she's getting ready to go in Friday and have some implants done. Some dental in implants done. And... I know she's really scared, and I, I can understand that. Um, dental fear is very real, and I fought it for a long time. And so she wanted me to kind of talk about, I said, you know, I, I was, don't really know what the process for uh, for implants is because I have dentures. And I was telling her I'd fought infections, and I know I've told this story before. So if you uh, have been a subscriber for a long time, then you might want to just skip over this. Um, I'm not telling you this story in any way, shape, or form to scare anybody. Actually, I want the opposite. I want you to know that no matter what's happened to you in life, you can overcome your fears and it'll all be okay. I've had a lot of dental work done over the years. I wore braces for many years. All through junior high. I got them out the end of my junior year in high school. Got my dentures, or my dentures, my braces off. I then had to have a skin graft years ago. My gum here in front had receded down super low. So they had to actually take a piece of skin off the roof of my mouth. And, trans, and uh, transplant it right here. You can't see it, but it's right down there. Um, and uh, I've had root canals. I've had oral surgery before um, as a child, and it wasn't discovered until recently, but I would not lose my baby teeth. So they had to pull them off. And so they elected to remove all of my wisdom teeth before they even broke the gum. And um, they also had to remove some more baby teeth and uncover the permanent teeth so they would come down. So as we age, and I wasn't told about the dangers of being on prednisone long term and also um, antibiotics long term. Also, I wasn't told by my asthma doctor that the inhalers that we use, you should always be rinsing your mouth right away after you use them. Was never told that. My husband was never told that. So consequently, all of my teeth would break off at the gum line. Now, the reason that my teeth break off at the gum line is, and wasn't discovered until recently, is I actually have a condition where, number one, the roots of my teeth are very crooked. 
and that's from being hit in the mouth. Um, and um, I actually, a combination of that and also that I actually have some extra roots thrown in. I also am one of these people that actually has calcium uh, that is deposited amongst the roots of my teeth. So those aren't coming out no matter what. It's really hard to remove my teeth. That's why instead of me losing the whole tooth, it would break off at the gum line. So, I developed a very bad abscess. I went in, they pulled the tooth, and it was down here. They pulled the tooth, and it was, you know, infected and stuff, and instead of putting a drain in, they just suctioned out part of the infection. And I heard him say, and that's why I said, don't go to these cheap clinics, these low-income clinics, because you might get a student that doesn't really care. I heard him say to the assistant, I should have put a drain in there, but I don't feel like it. Okay, well, a few days later, I can't even close my mouth. It's settled in right here in the hinge of my jaw. And uh, finally, it ruptures, and I don't want to gross anybody out, but, you know, I keep running to the bathroom to, you know, spit this stuff out and, and you know, rinse my mouth out and stuff. This infection was raging. The antibiotics weren't touching it. So I finally found another dentist who said, who, or, what did they say? Wait, let me back up. I had a dentist tell me, one dentist tell me that I needed to have a bunch of extractions done. That this was a massive infection, that it was in four different places in my jaw, um, that, you know, it was spreading. It was making me sick because I'm swallowing a lot of this, you know. And, I mean, it just tasted like, you know. And um, so I went to see an oral surgeon. There was no way we could swing all the money that he wanted. Um, so I thought he found a dentist who said he could do it. He could pull my teeth in his office and he could do the dentures and stuff. And, and we worked out, um, the money up front and everything went in, he casted for the dentures and everything went in the day he is supposed to do extractions. And I don't know what was wrong with him that morning. He had never, ever treated me that way. And he was very impatient, and he was in a, a huge hurry, and he wasn't waiting for it to get numb, and it wasn't numb, and, and you know, I let him pull a few teeth, and then I just couldn't take it. And he, he was trying to numb me up more. He wasn't even hitting in my gums, and it was running down my throat, literally, and I'm choking. So, you know, my husband made him stop. My husband was in the room. And he said, I can't do this. He just threw up his hands and goes, I can't do this. He takes off his gloves. You're going to have to get an oral surgeon to do it. Now, my new dentures are sitting right there. He wouldn't even try. He wouldn't even discuss it. He kept the money. He threw away my dentures. So, that leaves me with... I go four more years with all of these infections. We just didn't have the money. I finally find a took a chance. I called around a bunch of different dental places and and stuff. Talked with people. Found this one. It was husband and wife team. They're both dentists. They sound really nice. I go in. I have a wonderful exam x-rays, the whole bit. The first thing this and the female dentist says to me is, do you know you have this condition? And that's, she's the first one that ever spotted that I had. And I don't know what to call it, but it's where your body makes extra calcium. And it's no wonder that I've never broken any bones, except for my nose, 
you know, which is cartilage because I have such strong bones. And she said, that's why they couldn't get you numb, and it was nothing to do with you. She said, there are different numbing agents in different degrees, and we can, I can guarantee you, I can get you numb. Now, the kicker was, she didn't do laughing gas. She didn't do sedation. Okay. We work out a price thing. We work it out where we're going to use, it was in the fall time, so we're going to use part. She's going to do the bulk of the uh, oral surgery in, in her, right there. And then I'm going to let it slowly heal. I kept just my front teeth right here. And, of course, I still have eight of my natural teeth on the bottom. So they have a partial on the bottom and a full denture on top. But I thought, okay, that's fine. I'll let that heal for six months. You know, um, it'll be good and healed. And she said that's the way to, you know, if you can, to do it. Um, went in there. Day to have the major oral surgery. And I think it was like 14 teeth were removed. All of them on the bottom that had to be removed were. All of them on the top except for the four front were removed. She was super. They have, they let you pick out whatever kind of music you want. They gave me sunglasses to wear, which are very nice. Um, you know, um, she stopped frequently. She gave the shots of Novocaine in a way that was just super, where it was not so painful. She would actually rub that area as she's giving you the shot. So it spreads quicker and it actually feels good. When they cleaned my teeth, and she explained the need to clean all my teeth before they could do the extractions. And she explained, because that way of the infection and stuff, I said, I'd like to be numb because I knew it was going to be painful. You know, broken off teeth and everything. No problem completely numbed me up. It was beautiful. This was a, I think it was a three-hour surgery. It was a long surgery. She was having a heck of a time getting out the back teeth because they were broken off, and yet they didn't want to let go, so she was basically having to kind of break them, you know, in quarters and then pull them out and stuff. But she got it done. She got it done without me being in pain. You know, she's the one that taught me the tricks about using the tea bags, wet or dry, but it helps stop the bleeding and helps with the pain, too. Uh, she taught me, stop, Nixie. Stop it. Stop it right now. Nixie was wanting to be kind of grouchy tonight. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Hmm, Nixie, you've got to be a nice girl. But she's the one that taught me about doing the chaser, which was the leave. And then four hours later, you take Tylenol. Four hours after that, you take them all and leave. And, I mean, she had this whole written out. Super duper. You know, before they pulled my teeth, of course, they cast for the dentures. They had me come in three or four times, make sure, you know, I like them and everything. Um, and, I mean... She had a special technique where she even goes a step further with the dentures to make sure that they fit actually very well. The last time, you know, um, that I go in to have the four teeth pulled, and her husband was doing it, and he's just as good, um, you know. And so he pulled the four, which I was terrified of having pulled. I don't like having, didn't like having my front teeth worked on, especially my front upper teeth. And, but he pulled them, no problem. And I knew that, you know, one thing you think of is with each tooth pulled, that's, well, they never have to mess with that tooth again, hopefully, you know. Um, so, and then I got my dentures in. So the reason I'm making this and telling this story was, 
I was petrified of Dennis. After that one Dennis threw up his hands, you know, and here he is trying to pull my teeth and they're not numb and it was just, you know, I was terrified. But you keep going around until you have the right match. It's just like with doctors. <clears throat> Tips I would use <clears throat> is talk with your, always talk with your doctor or your physician. Ask if you should be on a course of antibiotics before you go and have your dental work done. Um, especially, uh, and if you're diabetic, um, they're going to want to probably check to see where your A1C level is. Um, you know, because they like to check that. They're going to, now they do check, a lot of do, uh, dentists do check your blood pressure. Um, also, if you are asthmatic, they are probably going to want you to have on you an inhaler. Um, so beware of that. Also have all your prescription medications, um, written down for them. Um, ask them if you do take an aspirin, uh, cause we're all getting at age. If you should suspend for about 10 days or so, like I said, um, things that you can take that can calm you down. Now, some dentists will call you in some volume or something to calm you down before you have the, um, uh, dental work done, it, you know, if they don't offer laughing gas and stuff. Um, if not, sometimes, and I'm, I mean, this is just me personally, and I am no doctor, but I usually will take a couple of Benadryl. It calms me down. It makes me a little sleepy. And I, like I said, but it basically just calms me down. So um, another thing I would suggest is if they don't provide music, ask if you can, or I mean, ask if they do. And if they don't, bring in your headphones. Bring in your headphones or your earbuds and music. You know, bring in your cell phone with your Pandora or bring in, um, you know, an MP3 player. Because you know what? That really helps drown out all the noise and stuff. Another thing that I like to have done, and they didn't laugh at all when I asked. I like to have those x-ray vests that they, or, you know, blankets that they put on you. I like to have one of those on me when I'm having dental work done. I don't know why. It's the weight of it or something that makes me feel comfortable and safe. So I asked them to put one of those on me, and they said they have another person in there who likes the same thing. If not, maybe you can ask if you can bring in a blanket. Uh, you know, sometimes those rooms are kind of cold. Um, another thing is if they don't provide you with sunglasses, bring in a pair of sunglasses. It really is nice because, you know, they've got those super bright overhead lights. Chances are, a lot of times you'll keep your eyes shut anyway. I know I have a tendency to, but it just is kind of nice. Um, and, um, I mean, just go in there with a, with the, the um, attitude that everything is going to be fine. That's what I did. And I really had to talk to myself a lot about it. And I would joke it and laugh it with them and... And, you know, we had a great time doing what, you know, what they have to do. So, I mean, you're going to be fine. Um, and uh, hopefully this procedure goes well. I know it will. Um, but, um, you know, and, I, and, and as long as it's a dentist that you trust and everything and, you know, and I'm really sorry that you haven't had this done again, you know, um, but hopefully this will be the end of it. Maybe they can give you a mouth guard or something, so um, that will help protect your teeth. Um, that was one of the reasons, too, that so many of my teeth cracked and broke off was because I, you know, would grind my teeth at night so bad. So, anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope it helps anybody else. And I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye.